Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm Commander Denali, and today we're taking a look at the Skoda T50. Now, the reason you're seeing the whole blueprint background behind the tank is uh, I forgot to do my intro video uh, before I sold the tank and got rid of it. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and go over the stats of the, uh, of the th first package, which is what you're going to see uh, in the video. And then uh, throughout the rest of the video, I'll, I'll give you some, some of the stats on the uh, final package. Anyway, um, yeah, this tank looks pretty nice. It's got some nice sleek curves to it. The turret looks good. I mean, it, and it's a really fun tank to play as well. But let's get into the stats. The engine on this thing has 750 horsepower. It has a power to weight ratio of 19.72 horsepower per ton, which means it can accelerate quickly. The top speed going forward is 50 kilometers per hour, and in reverse it's 20. Now if you get shot in the engine, you do have a 12% chance of getting caught on fire. The uh, gun on the standard package has a reload time of 7.8 seconds, a standard aiming time of 2.5 seconds, and the accuracy is 0.36. The uh, maximum elevation on this is 20 degrees, and the maximum de uh, gun depression is 8 degrees. So it's pretty good for working ridgelines, whether you're on top or bottom, um, to a point. If you're on top, uh, not so great going down. The, uh, the hull can rotate at 38 degrees per second, and it has train resistance of 1.2 for hard ground, 1.5 for medium ground, and 2.1 for soft ground. The uh, base view range of the uh, turret is 380 meters, and the turret can rotate at 38 degrees a second. So it's got some very good view range. The radio on this tank has a signal range of 730 meters, um, which is also another very good thing about it. Now this thing has a lot of ammo racks, as you can see. Um, as far as your standard round goes, um, your penetration on the low side is 154, on the high side it's 256, um, with uh, damage ranging from 240 to 400. The shell velocity of your standard round is 940 meters per second. When you go to your HE round, um, your penetration is between 38 and 63 millimeters. Your damage upon a penetration is 315 to 525 damage with a splash radius of just under 2 meters. And the, uh, the shell velocity of your HE round is 900 meters a second as well. Of course I've got no crew on this because uh, I sold it and, you know, I was just looking at the package. As far as armor goes on this, um, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Um, the, the minimum armor on this is 3 millimeters, and the maximum is uh, 140 millimeters. Um, of course your sides are going to have between 1 and 20 right there. Uh, also your belly plate underneath. The top of your commander's hatch and loader's hatch is between 21 and 30. Also the turret ring, um, you know, very, very little armor. So we've got about 31 to 50 millimeters of protection on the rear of the tank, the gun, and uh, on the inside of your tracks, on your side walls there. So you know, your hull, you're not going to bounce rounds off of it very often, if ever. Um, I bounced very few rounds in this tank. So next is uh, 51 to 70 millimeters of protection. That's the top of the turret. That one small square in your butthole of the tank. Um, and then the, uh, the front slope. Minus the two uh, patches there. Those two patches uh, have 71 to 90 millimeters of protection, also with the uh, side of your turret around the edges. Um, you know, it's slightly angled, so I mean, you may bounce around or two off your turret every now and again. Um, of course, 91 to 120 millimeters of protection is going to be the side of your commander's hatch, your loader's hatch, the front of your gun mantlet, and yeah, a couple other pieces of the turret. And then the only place on this tank that has uh, over 120 millimeters of armor is in the gun tube itself. So yeah, that's the armor on this. Um, not great. So, the way that I would suggest playing this tank um, is one of two ways. You can either play um, campy bush sniper role, or you can support, you know, heavy tanks on your team, or just other tanks on your team yeah, that are engaged into a uh, firefight. Alright, so our first match here, it's on El Halouf, and uh, we started on the south side. Um, 
so the first thing I'm going to try to do in this tank, we're going to try to get some spotting done. Um, as I'm doing that though, I will talk over the finer points of the final package of this tank. The final package of this tank has 1,000 horsepower engine. Um, the speed limit going forward is 50 kilometers per hour. Um, the turret and the hull can both traverse at 42 degrees per second. The gun, which is the best part about this tank, is a 100 millimeter gun that has a three round auto loader. Um, you have an ammunition capacity of 45 rounds. Um, your standard damage uh, on your standard and your premium rounds is between 240 and 400 damage uh, on each shot. So your average is going to be about 320. Um, but the penetration on this, um, your standard rounds have uh, 186 penetration on the low end and 310 penetration on the high end. So your average penetration, you're looking at, you know, 248 penetration average. Um, that's just your standard rounds. The rate of fire on this is unfortunately six and a half rounds per minute. So you pretty much get two clips per minute because of the reload time, how long it takes to empty out the clip and then reload again. The view range on the final package is 400 meters. And with all that being said, we found our first customer of this match. We're gonna wait for our camo. There it is. And then we will unload on this guy. And as you can see, three rounds, we've tracked him twice and our team finishes him off. And uh, that's one reason why you guys don't take that shortcut when you're uh, trying to go fight the hills over here. Um, you will get sniped out quicker than hell. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the solid points of the uh, final package of this uh, Skoda when you, you know when you have the auto load. So as you see here, I was trying to assist the IS3. I was trying to get around the side him, but he reversed um, just in time, so I couldn't get beside him. That's all right. We see a T54E1 trying to get shots on him, and yeah, he uh, puts a pretty good shot into us there. Hits us for, looks like, uh, 354. It's alright, because now we have this corner, and we put one into his friend, and he pulls around at the same time, and we'll put 316 into him. So now we're, we're pretty much even on the trade with that guy. Um, but he's not going to pull back out right away, so now it's time to go for a reload. And yes, uh, I aim down sights a lot like this when I'm in a good position, um, but I'm not tunnel visioned. I'm taking a look at my map, making sure I'm not about to get flanked, you know, everything like that. Also trying to watch out for, you know, uh, anything like that. A heavy tank that decides to roll out and eat three shots. Well, technically two, because the uh, second one only damaged his track. But there you go, got that medium tank running away now that he uh, heard my clip fire off and he's going back to assist his other heavies that are you know behind him they go? And now we're in position and we're reloaded once again reloaded. so as as you can see this is a great support tank um there are some maps where you can just you know straight up play a sniper like malinovka lots of bushes lots of places to get up and uh get some very good positions and you know putting a three round clip into somebody and staying undetected it's a it's a wonderful feeling um, so i messed up on this part uh i let the is3 pull forward didn't have quite the gun depression i thought i had so he ended up putting around into me and i did not end up doing any damage to him in return uh it looks like our heavy tank on the right is just uh you know having a hard time so I can't really help him because I'm still reloading. But there's a T29, and he wants to take a shot at me rather than our enemy, rather than our heavy, which actually surprised me there because, you know, our heavy tank had his, you know, whole tank exposed, lower plate and everything, and I barely had any turret showing. But you know, it goes to show you that you know some people will try to uh, pick on the little guy, the guy with zero armor. So I don't really want to pull forward and take shots from those guys because our heavy backed off. Um, but I do want to keep them spotted just in case they try to make a play. And speaking of making a play, there's a T10. And I missed the second shot just under me. 
But I damaged him and I, I took out his track. Um, looks like the STI was the guy that killed our friendly heavy off to the right. And while I'm reloading, I really don't want to mess with him, so keep a hill between us. Team takes him out. Wonderful. T10's pushing up. We got a full clip. That's one. That's two. And that's the killing shot. So, yeah. This gun, very, very dangerous. Um, you can clip people all day, especially if you get into a good position like this. Um, yeah, I mean, we're up by three tanks now. And it looks like uh, I can go around and flank the guys over here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Got a couple T-29s. Finish him. Ooh, that one has a lot of health. Oh, not anymore. And at this point, I didn't realize it, uh, but I only had one standard round remaining. Um, had I realized this, I probably would have loaded premium. Well, not probably. I would have loaded premium. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't realize this. So I'm going to shoot the T29. Boom, he's dead. And pull forward. And realize, shoot, I can't fire. <laughs> because I'm reloading premium ammo now. Um, but yeah, that guy ends up getting taken out anyway. Um, and so far, we are having a very good game. Now, even if I was to die at this point, I mean, I have had a, you know, well above average game. My average game in this tank, I was dealing, you know, somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 damage. Um, you know, getting some assist damage as well sometimes, depending on the maps. Uh, and getting, you know, one, two, possibly three kills. Of course, there is the, uh, the match every now and again where, uh, you just make the wrong mistake, go to the wrong part of town, and you get just blown up instantly. I think everybody has those games. Um, it's alright. Anyway, yeah, we're on the hunt for the last guy. Uh, tank destroyer, so of course he's gonna be somewhere up in the hills over here. We've got premium ammo, so we should be able to penetrate this guy. The enemy knows our location. Yep, there he is. Uh, yeah, we'll try to get behind him really quick. Probably shouldn't have slowed down there. Probably could have got around him. Um, but yeah, he turned around and he's going to pull out, so we're going to try to track him. There we go. Ooh, we end up eating a shot, but now we have his hatch. Yep, we have his hatch. There it is. And he's finished off. Now that's how you do it. All right. At the end of that one, we ended up making almost twenty thousand silver. We got five thousand experience. We got five thousand damage, which gave us a high caliber and our mastery uh, ace tanker ninety nine percent. Eighteen penetrations, five kills. And we got 752 assisted damage as well. So all in all, this was a, a very good match. Um, you know, well above average. Here's the team stats for anybody that wants to see all of that. Um, yeah, I mean... 5,000 damage when the next person was on the enemy team had 2,900 damage. And that was that M103, so... Anyway, on to our next match, which happens to be El Haluf again. Only this time, we're on the opposite side. Again, this is another tier 9 match. Um, my ammo loadout's a little bit different on this one. I have three extra HE rounds. Um, you know, I was testing some stuff out. And, uh, yeah. I mean, when you have, uh, you know, 44 rounds or something like that. Uh, 45 rounds on this tank, you can change the loadouts and try different things. Anyway, um, I decided to go directly over to the area that has the big fight. Um, you know, so I'm gonna load premium rounds, uh, to start with, just to try to get rid of our first, uh, target, or couple targets relatively quickly. Um, but on the way there, a couple people are getting spotted, so I'm gonna try to take some shots. There we go. Enemy hammer, 340 on him. 40 on him and an unknown amount on him. He misses his return shot. 
that light tank is keeping us spotted though, so we need to uh, move out and try to assist these heavies off to our right. But so far so good. Just got detected a second time by that light tank. I want to try to pull around. Ooh, look at that, that hammer we shot pulling around into us. He did 242 damage. Focus on this location. So trying to spot him really quick. Unfortunately, just out of my view range. Um, maybe we can get shots on this light tank. Nope, not quite. I wasn't aimed in the right spots at the right time. But we didn't get detected, so that's good. And now we can pull forward to the, the to this hill up here, which is one of my favorite hills to fight at, and uh, assist our heavy tanks that are currently, uh, you know, trading some rounds out. And look at this. Enemy T-34-100 wants, wants to do the same thing, thinking nobody's here. So we'll put one free round into him. And then we'll wait to see if he pulls over, try to make that mistake again. Which I don't think he's going to do. So we're going to, you know, try to get up here and get shots on anybody else. And it looks like he's trying to keep us highlighted. Try to put one through his gun mantle it. Now he's just trying to get shots. Of course, I'm not going to fall for it. In fact, I think we should probably do a reload because I don't think he's going to commit to this. And even even if he does commit to this, I've got a friend right beside me, so, you know. Anyway, he's going to take the express route down. And while he does that, we're going to go ahead and uh, shoot this Tiger 131 that's paying zero mind to me. There it is. One shot, two shot, three shots, and... That's just uh, how fun it is to uh, to clip people in this tank. <laughs> it's uh, it's really fun. So we got a Tiger 1 down there. A couple seconds left on the reload. He fires at our friend right here. So now it's time to go down and one shot, two shot, three shot. And he's taken care of. And my enemies, uh, enemies, huh? <laughs> my friendly tanks are pushing as well, which is amazing. Um, I love it when everybody, you know, does a massive push like that, rather than one tank going at a time and just getting decimated. Um, <laughs> but now we can flank the enemy relatively quickly. We'll put one shot, two shot into him. And maybe IS-2. Oh, he turned to face us as well. Maybe we can ram him. Oh, not quite enough to kill him, but that's all right. We'll go ahead and we'll probably have to eat a round or two here, but um, you know, we should be able to kill him relatively easily. And we only ate one in the process. All right. Looks like his friend died right beside us. That T-34-100 and that T-49 are now behind my heavy tanks. So we're going to go ahead and get a reload while we can. And I, did I spot that VK? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's weird. I got some assisted damage there. That's alright. Um, medium tank tried to run again, so we'll go ahead and punish him now that he's out in the middle of the open. He tracked us, but that's alright. Now we've got a type 2, two rounds into him really quick. And yeah, he lo no longer has any health. And, uh, we took his engine out and spotted him, so there's some assisted damage as well. And I'm just going to keep pushing this way. And, ooh, look, an enemy hammer that's low on health. I wonder why. We'll finish him off. Then we'll go for the P25. And we miss our last shot. Man, that would have been great to hit that. Um, potentially get, you know, a 7th kill. Uh, that would have been... Fantastic. Ooh, enemy tank destroyer spotted here. Probably uh, should have stopped there and tried to shoot at the medium across the way first. Um, but hindsight's 2020. I just wanted to get up here, take out this, uh, this tank destroyer. Because as you can see, I know the medium's there. And I really want to shoot him, but 
And it's too late to get around the side of that guy now. And we just eat one shot, takes us down to 750. That 90 millimeter gun is crazy, that DPM. Hits us again, and we're down to under 500, so he hit us for about 260 something there. And now that we're undetected, we're gonna uh, take some shots at him. First shot's a miss, poorly led, second shot 300, and somebody finishes him off. So now we'll go for a reload, try to get back there in time to help with the tank destroyer, maybe get a devastator, that would be, uh, that would be pretty fantastic to end, uh, you know, this match on. Love, uh, love getting multiple kills. But unfortunately that's not the case, this IS-3 is just gonna go up and bully him and Ready kill him. Alright guys, so, at the end of that match, we ended up making 16,000 silver because we did fire some premium. We got 2,400 experience. We had 20 penetrations for 5,500 damage, which gave us 6 kills. It also gave us a sniper medal, top gun, and high caliber. And we assisted 428 damage. We actually blocked 640. Um, yeah, we got a mastery badge first class. And uh, that was a great match to use a 6x crew experience boost. Here's the team stats for anybody that wants to see all that. As you see, uh, we had a lot of surviving people. So I'm actually amazed that I was able to do 5,500 damage. Um, especially with this many people surviving. Um, usually it's pretty evenly spread. Alright, we're on our last map of this, uh, of this video. I mean, it's south coast during the rain. And uh, when I'm on south coast during the rain, um, and I start on this side of the map, I love to go to the uh, HJ5 uh, area and get on top of the ridge line there and try to get some early spotting and some early damage. So that's exactly where I'm going to go. So, just a reminder, guys great thing about this tank, the pros of this tank are the view range, the camouflage, um, the mobility, and that's pretty much the top three. Uh, as far as cons, you have zero armor. The reload time isn't the greatest, so you, you will sometimes get caught out, um, especially on, you know, a 20 second reload, and, uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get killed very, very quickly from, uh, you know, somebody just bullying you and you know it's gonna suck um this is a great tank to assist heavy tanks or pretty much to assist other tanks not just heavy tanks um but anybody that's currently in a firefight you can you, can, you know assist them fairly well um you know come around a corner put a clip into somebody that's messing with one of your heavies and then whether you kill them or not that heavy will have the opportunity to finish the job while you reload um you know, I've, I've done drive-bys in this tank, uh, you know, the sniping on this tank, as you can see, I mean, I mean, I'm two minutes, not even two minutes into this match, I'm already on five hit markers from those guys that went down the middle. Already got a kill because, you know, that light tank, uh, and I actually outspotted that light tank. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it is a great tank when you uh, play it like that. Um, however, the cons, armor, you have none. Um, you know, if you, if you are getting singled out by other tanks, you're not going to last very long. Um, you only have 1,650 hit points in a tier 9 vehicle. I mean, there's other tier 9 vehicles out there that, uh, you know, have more than that. Um, for example, I'll just go look at the, uh, let's go look at the E75 really quick. So, E75... Oh, where's it at? You know what, we'll just look at the T10. I've got that right here. The T10 has, uh... Actually, the T10 only has 1,700 hit points, so this thing having, uh... 1,650 isn't that bad. Not that bad at all. So, I thought that was a con, but apparently not.
anyway, yeah, so uh, that spot's pretty much done, used up. We've gotten everything we're going to get out of that. So now it's time to push forward and help our team out over here. And speaking of T-10s, there's a T-10. And uh, an enemy light tank. T-49. There we go. Finally got a shot into him. Um, he was just behind those rocks. Kind of, you know, pain to shoot from this angle. Um, but we'll go ahead and get a reload. We see a tiger down here. Um, got a little over half its health remaining. So we should be able to clip him. But there's also a 416. And, oh, T-30. I need to take that T-30 out first. That should be priority. One good shot. Two good shots. Three good shots. And back. Oh, didn't back up quick enough. He hit us for a thousand damage there. Uh, yeah, that was not good. But that's all right. We did get a full clip into him, so we did probably 1,200 to him. Um, still not a great trade for us. Um, wow, he hit us pretty dang hard there. But now we'll try to get that 416 while he's running away. We auto-aim, and we only got one out of three of those shots. Um, you know. That's just... Uh, that's another bad thing. I mean, I, I've gotten into a habit of just auto-locking onto people and not aiming in. Uh, <laughs> so this tank, I mean... That's one of the bad things that's happened. Uh, but, I mean, at the same time, I mean, you auto-lock onto somebody... And, I mean, you'll land, you know, two out of three sometimes, three out of three sometimes. I mean, it's, it's all just a dice roll, pretty much. But when they're running away like that, I need to actually get into the habit of, uh, you know, aiming, reacquiring the target, you know, stuff like that. Like, see, when I'm doing this, great, look, bam, bam, he's taken care of. And, yeah, I mean, no misses. Had I auto-aimed, I mean, would they have hit? I don't know. Um... But it's a bad habit. Anyway, we're down a couple tanks. Uh, we're starting to uh, close the uh, the score a little bit between the two of us, uh, the two teams. And there's the IS-3. And I'm pretty sure he was the one spotting me because I'm not getting detected right now. So as soon as our camo goes active, pull a shot on him, pull a second shot, and kill him. All right. And then we'll go for a reload. And uh, this time we're going to do premiums because we don't have a full clip. Um, had I waited just a second, I probably could have put it around into that Conqueror. Um, fortunately, I just, I didn't think he would push like that. So, you know, that was, uh, not good on my part. So now we're going to try to push around here and put a couple rounds into that Conqueror. And, of course, he knew we were coming because we didn't go undetected. But we're also taking shots. Oof, yep, there it is from that motherland. Um, pull behind the rock, get cover. And I need to uh, prioritize these targets. Like, who do I need to take first? Probably that motherland, because the Conqueror is, you know, slower, um, not as nimble. But never mind, the Conqueror just died. So now it's only the motherland left over. But I am a one shot, so I need to be careful how I do this. Pull out quick and take a snapshot. Oh, yeah, he's falling. Oh, snapshot fails. Try again. There we go. And now the, the scores are evened up. Looks like a couple of them are back by their flag. The other tanks might be in the uh, city. Yep, there's a medium tank in the city. Oh, he's low health as well. It's a light tank as well, so... Watching the map, it looks like they might be going towards the beach. Anyhow, um, let's get up here and try to help our medium tank, our T-54, because uh, we don't need to uh, senselessly lose a, uh, a top-tier medium tank. Um, try to spot this guy really quick. Nope, didn't happen. So let's move forward and see if they took the uh, the B trap. Oh, and that's exactly what it looks like. T-49. 
really don't want to get hit by him or even have him hit near me because I'll die. And I can't even get a shot on him right here. But I'm detected. Something off to I don't know where I got detected from. Oh, there's that medium tank. Yeah, I've got to go up here and try to help take these guys out. That way they don't go around and try to cap. So, T-44. Alright, T-49. There we go. And that's another great thing about this tank. Uh, find low health targets next to each other. You can, you know, kill three of them if, uh, if you're lucky enough. Or if you're good enough. Uh, I know a lot of players out there are very good. Um, so they'd be able to do that no problem. I don't think I've killed three tanks with one clip in this tank, um, but I did get two, you know, like that. So now we're pretty much uh, trying to clean up the rest of the team. So far, this is uh, another fantastic game that I got in this tank. And I mean, I've had more than a few fantastic games in this tank, so I mean, I just think that this tank is amazing. I mean, I'm not even, you know, the greatest player. I'm, I'm, I'm an alright player, um, but when I can, you know, use this tank for a week, week and a half, and have several games where I have five, six, you know, seven kills in a match, and doing, you know, five to seven thousand damage, I mean, it's a damn good tank. Alright, so now we're just gonna uh, try to find this artillery really quick. And, uh, yeah, we'll check the usual spots, the far side of the flag. Of course, he would probably be spotted by now um, if he was back here. So he's probably going up the zero line um, to follow his light tank that's back behind our flag. Yep, he, yep there he is. I was just about to say he could be anywhere along the path, but, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll try one snapshot and fail. And we'll hit him with the second one. And we're going to reload our clip. Because the enemy light tank disappeared. And if I can sneak up behind him, I could get a, uh, a Radley Walters. Which would be uh, fantastic. So, T-54 capping the flag. We've got two heavy tanks protecting our flag. And, uh, I'm pretty sure the light tank's about to find me. Oh, there it is. We'll snapshot really quick. And he does the same and he kills us. Um, unfortunately, I wish he would have rammed me before that shot hit because it potentially could have killed him. He was uh, less than 200 health. I think he was on 187. Um, and that would have been a, a really cool way to get a Radley Walters is dying in the process. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, we're going to sit here, we're going to watch this T-54, uh, handle this guy, uh, like a boss. While he farms some efficiency points as well. Oh, he bounced his first round off the Bulldog. And this Bulldog is, uh, quite aggressive. But, there you go. So, at the end of that match, we ended up making, uh, I'm sorry, we ended up losing just over a thousand silver because we did fire quite a few premiums, uh, but we did get 10,000 experience points, um, because of the ops and stuff that I had, um, 23 penetrations for 6,800 damage, uh, 7 kills, which gave us Top Gun, Devastator, um, Ace Tanker, 99%, and High Caliber. And with that, guys, I mean, this is just how I've been, uh, playing the, uh, the Skoda T50, or I should say how I how I did play it. Um, I do have the TVP now, and I'm slowly working on making a video for that. Um, here's the team stats for anybody that cares, uh, wants to see all that. But anyway, until next time, fellow tankers, you guys go out there and kill some shit. I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. And don't forget, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see you later.